everyone. I'm Barry, your host, and this is Barry TV. And this is Crypto Journeys. Um, it's episode two. Today I'll be talking about blockchain service network in China and their influence on Bitcoin and the whole blockchain uh, industry and the blockchain community. Um, if you haven't heard or read any articles, uh, I read from Coindesk, uh, Coindesk earlier this week that uh, China is planning to roll out their blockchain service network uh, this week. And I find it very, very interesting and um, very, very groundbreaking. Um, in a sense of, you know, the uh, abstract idea of it. I don't know if it will be a huge success as it sounds. I don't know if uh, other governments and countries will adopt this uh, network and service. I don't know uh, if it will actually even roll out um, how they plan, you know. Um, but uh, one thing is uh, a couple of facts that I've uh, read about, enough facts, uh, yeah, statistics that I've read about this uh, blockchain service network that China plans to release, that um, the pricing target for companies and entities to interact and use this network would be around 400 US dollars per year. That is extremely cheap. Um, now, with that being said, um, China really does uh, show other aspects of this blockchain service network as far as like its scalability uh, to, you know, basically um, advertise itself to other governments and entities to adopt this network and actually use it. Uh, the scalability is insane um, from uh, uh, statistics and rumors, you know, from what I read on uh, Coindesk. It's approximately um, a 100 nodes, uh, 100 city nodes. Um, they expand to expand about, what, in a year to about 250 nodes. Um, yeah, it, it's getting crazy uh, over there in China, man. Um, as far as like what they're doing with this technology, um, we already, we've already witnessed their influence on blockchain back in 2017, uh, 2013. You know, for the past decade, basically, you know, they had a huge influence on blockchain and, and Bitcoin, I would, I would say. Um, uh, it's, it's um, I, I think um, this, if they are successful, I think this is the stamp that China will put on becoming one of the front runners at you know, overtaking uh, the world leader position, not number one position, you know, um, it's mainly about, uh, not just about money, but it's about technology and access to it and who, you know, uh, basically takes advantage of the technology first. And China seems like they're, you know, going full-fledged with this uh, whole blockchain. Uh, thing. You know, um, they're, you know, in uh, police with uh, conglomerates like Alibaba. So now, what does that mean for cryptocurrency? You know, altcoins. So it's okay. They want to, you know, uh, launch a blockchain service network. Um, just throwing this, not throwing this out. I'm, I'm stating this as a fact. This is not financial advice or any type of financial suggestions or anything or price uh, prediction or anything dealing with price or anything money monetary value um i think this is actually what most of us as just developers or people that are interested in the blockchain uh technology you know actually making it and being utilized you know it's use case being uh actually pushed um this is uh what if china is very successful at this um Projects like Cardano, Ethereum, Hyperledger Fabric, uh, EOS, or whatever you want to name it, um, this will, you know, give them, will open the door and for just just on the institutional and legality uh, standpoint of things, you know, it's very hard to get anything dealing with cryptocurrency approved by basically almost any government nowadays. You know, uh, if you have a world leader uh, and, and a huge government, powerful government like uh, China, jump behind blockchain the adoption uh, behind blockchain uh, can actually take off you know um, let me know what you guys think in the comments please like and subscribe if you want more content like this uh, let me know what you guys think about this video in general um, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next episode thank you all for watching first time and last time viewers um, and also my solid uh, viewers that are dedicated and loyal subscribers thank you all for watching